Hello everyone, um, it's me again. Uh, just want to talk about something I've been wor I've, I've been working on for the last maybe two months. Um, it's a little application for uh, for iOS devices, and um, I think it should it could work with Android, but I'm not sure. Well, this is the thing: I didn't build the actual application. I didn't code anything. Uh, the application you will have to buy. I just build a layout. The application is basically a MIDI controller, and you build your own layout to control whatever you want, whatever the MIDI device you have. In this case, as you can see, I have the, the I have the three Strymon pedals. I call them the trio. Um, so, the purpose of this application was just to serve me to interact with, with these pedals um, very quickly in a normally it'll be in between songs I'm not gonna put, like put a hand here and start working on the iPad while I'm playing I, w I wouldn't do that um, I might do it a little bit to change something really quick but not not it's not uh, something that I would you know be doing so this is the application MIDI designer and this is my layout three Strymon pedals Blue sky, it's very obvious. Uh, Mobius and, and timeline. And um, here, I put like three little pit, uh, switches. As, as the uh, big sky has three little little presets here. The timeline has two, and the Mobius has two. I, uh, if I press here, you could see it uh, over there. Same thing here, here, like that. Also, tap tempo, um, banks. That's this is the most the most important thing for me to change banks within uh, between uh, songs, and I want to do that really quick and, and without lose, like wasting time or anything. Also, I have different controllers here. I have mix, grid, at least for the timeline, uh, filter, time, and repeat. This is the type. Um, of delay that you want to choose same thing for the uh, uh, big sky uh, this all, all these controllers pl plus the type same thing for the uh, movies and you they 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 would change if you see you could do it with your fingers I, I'm doing it with this because this is what I use to uh, edit or to build the application and I uh, have it has different pages this is my main page uh, I built the second one something more compact something like let's do it quick and not too much too many options bank up bank down you could you know really quick same thing with the uh, timeline uh, tap tempo Mobius bank up bank down uh, the type also I have the uh, this is very cool I control two, two different para parameters here uh, time and feedback uh, I'll try to demo it a little bit and then here the looper uh, record I don't want to record uh, play stop reverse as you can see this is the level the mix of the your of your loop and here sub do not enter um, this is like the backbone some of some of the features uh, in here are working in the background here when I go to edit to design this is like a little bit of like the backstage uh, that control or allow me to do some other features on the first part of the of the first uh, page. All right, so let me demonstrate really quick of uh, some, some stuff that I am able to do with this application. Again, I built it um, to interact with these pedals. Normally, when I'm not playing, of course, I just have two hands. So if I play guitar. I'm not gonna be able to um, work with the app, uh, but in between songs, I want to change banks. That's the most important thing because for me, the way I I use these pedals is each bank is uh, it's one song. Like bank one will be bank uh, song one and, and etc. Uh, normally, that will apply just for the timeline um, because uh, every song has this different tempos, so that's that's the most important thing for me the timeline to keep 
those delays on you know in time and uh, uh, for the Mobius uh, I do know that uh, Bank 3 I have a nice uh, tremolo uh, right now it's it's actually on turn it off and that's it as you can see the delay is on uh, in this case is a dotted 8 and I could tap tempo one two three four uh, and um, I could ch I could um, control the mix if I want to and uh, something very cool check this out here I'm controlling you see that little cross fader um, I'm controlling the actual uh, time of the delay so check this out I'm gonna keep it low. It's late at night. So increase the uh, repeat, infinite repeats. Right? Lower the mix a little bit. I made it so it goes back to. To, uh, to the zero value here so we need the uh, repeats so that's cool <laughs> um, so here uh, this is same thing just in this setting here so let's see Not, I forgot which Yep, here. So if vertically it will be the uh, the uh, repeat, and uh, horizontally will be the uh, the time, the actual time. And here the mix of the delay, uh, looper. Of course, I cannot press press record and right there start playing um, but if you if you already did your uh, first loop you could start recording let's see play bring up the level reverse half and uh, you know what okay so my camera ran out of battery and the iPhone kept running out of uh, space so I apologize but I also wanted to uh, mention that um, the uh, the pedals do not they do not send any information to the actual application uh, so when you turn on your application and, and the uh, and the pedals you will you will not know you know where where you know the last setting is you know where where the settings of the uh, of the pedals are um, you can just talk from the application to the pedals um, this is how it's working right now I am I'm, I'm not sure um, why that is I think that the uh, strumming pedals cannot send that kind of information out uh, but I already tried connecting something in there in there I made it out but that didn't work so and also the way I'm connecting or I'm interacting between uh, the iPad and the uh, pedals is via MIDI um, of course but I'm using a, an interface I, Pro, you guys probably know it's the uh, USB that's the M audio uh, uno it's a USB to MIDI uh, interface so what I do is um, I, I have a little in a, a little um, little adapter that connects to the iPad and then from there it goes to a, a female USB port so you connect that 
uh, M Audio interface to that USB port, and from there you go out to the uh, to the pedals via the MIDI uh, cables, and that's how you control them. You can again, you can control anything, any, anything that that receive uh, receives uh, MIDI messages. Uh, I actually got it to got the application to work with the uh, with the uh, 11 rack. Uh, that's a, it's a rack effects unit for guitar. It sounds great, and uh, I used it for 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 church the other day, and and I was just I didn't have any pedals to to uh, control it with, so what I did I built a little small layout just to control things that I needed to control, and um, and that's all. But that's the that's the application again. It's I just built a layout. I didn't create the actual application. The application you will have to buy it in the app store in, if you have any iOS device. Uh, it goes for like I, I think it's like seventeen dollars. I am not sure, but it's a great application. It's a great tool. The uh, the guy who actually made the application, it, he's a cool guy. They have they have a forum. I think his name is Dan, and. Um, very good people. They are great, and um, if you have any questions, just you know you can go to their forums, and they they will help you right away. If you have any question about my layout, uh, just let me know.